place belongs to the very concept of existence. That is, there is no person without a place to be a person. And so if place constitutes the condition of existence, it follows, of course, that the experience of loss of place also matters profoundly, emotionally, spiritually and psychologically. I'm a psychoanalyst and I passionately believe that whatever psychic distress ails the individual also ails our country in one way or another, that our individual and collective cultural distress are interlinked. And after 20 or so years working um, with our Australian condition, we might say, as it walks into my consulting room, <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that what I think of as a continuum of experience of anxieties of place from the uniquely personal to the shared and collective forms the backdrop of our individual and cultural psychic distress here. So in, in the book, Placing Psyche, there's a couple of extracts I want to share that um, kind of link maybe with, with this, this feeling I had. And um, David Tacey kicks off his chapter writing, there seems to be a resistance of in to individuation in Australian society. We dare not set foot in the interior world lest we go mad, lose our bearings, or risk being disintegrated by unruly forces. And Amanda Dowd, who you've already heard her speak a lot on this, but I just want to highlight a, a point um, that she raises, that for indigenous, the in, non-indigenous settler, a migrant Australians, the transference of the already known onto the unknown and unknowable supports the psychic disavowal of the mind and reality of other. And that has to do with the land, other being land and people alike. And in the context of the work I was undertaking, I link this idea to the past utilization of European land management techniques onto an Australian landscape, um, which has ultimately resulted in environmental damage, that lack of understanding we've had in the past about the land, but that that, that is changing. You may be aware of this idea of an ecology of culture. Abram says language comes out of the landscape. And whatever landscape we've internalised in our original culture, we carry internally, and in my sense is that gets reproduced as migrant cultures. We reproduce whatever culture we've internalised. Meanwhile, there's a culture that's grown out of this landscape, and these cultures then have to you know, interact like an ecology. And that became my idea of an ecology of culture. Part of my research was also in working with non-violence and conflict resolution using drama. So I started looking at how racism was cross-cultural conflict and using drama-based ways of working with that. And that led to a whole lot of things around cultural exchange and theatre anthropology. And then eventually, having worked a lot here with Indigenous people, I went to Ecuador and, and, and spent a little bit of time with a group called the Achua, who were a group of people that had a very intact culture, which was very different to the kind of psychic wounding that we've heard here today about the Australian situation. Their culture is still intact, more or less, and the Pachamama Alliance has grown out of that. And I've got a few videos that I've put out on the 